Princess Jazz and welcome back to my channel. So KB Looms have actually sent me a make your own scarf kit and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own scarf. What they've also done is they sent me an extra one to give away to you guys. So if you guys want to win this, the pink glitter yarn loom, all you need to do is comment below with KB Looms, Jasmine Starla and you guys will be entered into actually winning one of these. So if you guys would like to buy one of these, especially because Christmas is coming up, all you need to do is go down in the description box below. I will put all the links there for you guys, so just go check it out, go check them out. They are absolutely lovely and I just, it's amazing. So guys, let's get started. So here is the package, the make your own scarf. And this is what it looks like. And the back. Ta-da! So you've got instructions then you've got your yarn so I've got pink and rose pink so these two and then your loom board so here it is it's a wooden board with plastic pegs coming out of it so you've got your metal hook you've got a plastic hook and then you've got a plastic needle the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your loom and place it on a surface now you're going to need your first color yarn so I'm going to use the light pink this is really soft, it's really nice actually. So your scarf is going to be really warm when you've made it. Now what you're going to do with the end of your yarn is you're going to tie a knot. So you're just going to tie it around. I'm just going to use my finger. Like that. And then tie it around again. And when you've wrapped it around your finger, what you're going to do is you're going to take it off and you're going to put it on this peg here, like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to bring the yarn up because we're going to start looping it across the pegs now. You're going to skip out these two at this end and then you're going to bring it down to this peg and back up to this one, back down and back up. So what you're doing is you're putting it on, then you're skipping one putting it on, skipping one, and you're also doing it for this side too. You're putting it on, skipping one, putting it on. So you should be making a zigzag shape all the way down the loom, which is really easy. So just zigzag it all the way down. And then when you get to here, what you're going to do is you're going to bring it up, so it should hook around this peg, and then you're going to bring it back down to this peg and then back up, so you should be doing all of the pegs that don't have any yarn on it now. So you're just going to zigzag all the way back down. So this is the start of your scarf. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other yarn and I'm just going to cut a bit off, like that. Now what we need to do is we need to put it over the middle. So it should be across these two, like in the middle of those two pegs. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these sides under, so it should be coming out the bottom. So you're going to get your wool, and you're going to put it down and grab it from underneath, and pull it through. So now it's through the bottom. You're also going to do exactly the same to the other side, and grab it through. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn over the loom and you're going to tie a knot with these two sides. Like that. And you can just leave it. Now the reason why you've done this is to pull down the scarf so it just makes it easier to pull through. Okay, so now we've got this. What we're going to do is we're going to carry on with our pink yarn. So you're going to bring it back up to this peg and then carry on with the zigzags. And now you're going to go back up and down across the other pegs. So you should now have two loops on each peg. Now we're going to get our knitting hook. And now what we're going to do is we're going to lift the bottom loop over the top loop and off the peg into the center of the loom. And we're going to do this for both of the sides. So you can start on whichever side you are comfortable with. So if I start here, you're going to lift the bottom up and over the top. 
and into the middle. Then you're going to do the next one. So lift the bottom up and over. Up and over. And the next one up and over. And just continue that all the way down your loom. Just lifting the bottom one over the top over the top, over the top. There we go, so you can see that this row, all of the loops are now in the centre. And now you're going to do exactly the same to the other side. So when you've done that, what you can do is you can just grab the bottom yarn and pull it down. So this just keeps all of them neat and in the centre. So with the pink yarn, you're going to bring it up and zigzag all the way down your loom. And then you're going to bring it up, leaving out these last two pegs, and you're going to go back round. So there should now be two loops on each peg. So you can see here, there are two loops. Then you're going to get your hook and the bottom loop you're going to bring up and over the top. Then the next one you bring it up and over the top. And the next one up and over and you're going to continue that all the way down. There we go, and now we're going to do exactly the same to the other side. And then just pull this yarn at the bottom for it all to come together. And that is the start of your scarf. So what you're going to do is you're going to continue that process and your scarf will start coming out of the bottom. And you can do as many of these as you would like with the pink yarn. And then you can also swap in the darker pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this on. I'm going to create the scarf so that it comes out of the bottom. And then I'm going to show you how to change from the light pink yarn to the dark pink yarn and then carry on the scarf. So it's been a couple of days and I have made, ta-da, the first half of my scarf. So this is all of the light pink that has been used. It's really long. So that is the first half and now I'm going to show you how to add in the dark pink. So I've got the end of my light pink here and we're also going to get the start of the dark pink, which is here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to tie them together and really pull it tight. So then what you're going to do is you're going to keep wrapping it around. So I'm just going to do this one. Then go back the other way. And as you can see, the knot is coming to this side. And what you're going to do, you're just going to lay it across the middle like that and just carry on. There you go. So you've got one here and one here just lying across the middle. You're then going to get your hook and do exactly the same as you did before. Like that and then you're going to do the same to the other side. And you're going to pull it down. 
So now you've got your dark pink yarn. And what we're going to do is we're just going to carry on looping. So I'll be back in a couple of days to show you the finished scarf and how to end it. Hey guys, so this is how much I've done so far and I've just started putting in the dark pink. So ooh, this is how far I've gotten and I've just started to change it as you can see just down the middle. I think this is awesome. I actually haven't knitted in a few years which is quite sad but my mum taught me from a young age how to knit but I've never used a loom to knit. And it's really nice so I thought I'd show you. I am three quarters of the way through, got a little bit more to go and then I'll show you guys how to end it but yeah it's so soft. So guys let's get back to the tutorial. So guys it's exactly two days later. Hello we are back. So here's the scarf. We have got the dark pink and also the light pink. So now I'm going to show you how to end it. So now we're going to start at this end so not the one with the loose yarn. We're going to start here on this peg, grab the loop, bring it up and off and onto this peg here. Now you need to push it out and then you're going to grab the next bit of yarn that's on that peg, bring it up and you're also going to bring the other one off and onto the next peg. So now there should be two. So you need to remember to pull the top one down, grab the bottom one, bring it up and both of them off and onto the next peg. Remember to push it down, grab the bottom yarn, bring them both off and onto the next peg. Remember to push it down, grab the bottom yarn, bring them both off and onto the next peg. So what you're going to do is you're going to continue that all the way down and as you can see it's coming off your loom. Okay, and the last one, just going to pull it down, grab it and bring them off. So you're just going to keep that attached and I'm going to bring it through the loom. So here we go, it has now been all ended. And what we need to do here with your end bit of yarn is just make a knot through And then what you can do is just cut off the excess bits. Now what I also did is I saved some material because I'm going to do some tassels but this is completely optional you don't have to do these at all. If you have some spare material that's great if you don't you can use different wool it really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to get two bits of yarn put them together I'm just going to pull up one of these hoops at the end and just push the yarn through like that and then I'm just going to tie a knot and do it to the next hoop and then you're just going to continue all the way down this row until you reach this side. So here we go guys I've just completed this side with the tassels but they are a bit long so what I'm going to do is get some scissors and just cut off about half I have started with the tassels, but what you can do is this bit, you can now cut it off and pull it out. So now you can continue with the tassels all the way down 
and then when you've done this side just remember to cut it off I'm just going to get the other side and line it up so I know I'm cutting it at exactly the same length and here you are guys our scarf and our tassels have been created on how to make your own scarf if you did remember to give it up big thumbs up you can always subscribe and leave a comment below also guys remember to comment below with kb loom jasmine starla and you can actually enter into winning this pink glitter yarn loom which is so exciting and i've actually been out today to buy some more yarn to make another scarf because i love it so much i just think it's amazing so guys remember to enter below and go check out their web links to go and get one of these so guys, I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye!